Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the movie mode on a Canon DSLR. So first of all, you have to move the mode dial to ensure that the camera icon is in line with the white dot. So it's in off mode and you need to switch it to the camera mode because there is no off and on and off switch. So that will turn on the screen. So now I'm going to show you how to use the manual controls. We press menu. You need to change movie exposure to manual. The rest of it looks okay to me. If we move down, you need to change your movie recording size to 24 frames a second, 1080p. So that's 1920 by 1080p at 24 frames per second to get a cinematic look. As we scroll down, make sure sound record is set to auto unless you are using a um, dedicated microphone and you need to switch that to manual. We'll just check the sound levels are on there. If I press menu again, go back we need to turn on grid display to grid one so that's your rule of thirds i definitely recommend that you have that switched on all the time and then as we go along you'll see a few other options that you don't really need to know what they do currently so you half press the shutter button and then you'll see the live view mode so the main dial is how you're going to adjust the shutter speed now the shutter speed has to be twice the frame rate. So the frame rate is currently 24 frames a second. There's no 48 um, shutter speed, so you need to change that to 50. Now that number is very important as it needs to remain at 50 all the time. So you're gonna scroll the um, main dial and ensuring that the shutter speed stays at 50. Now that's to create a nice smooth look. Once I press the AV button, and scroll my finger along the wheel we adjust the aperture now the smaller the number the shallow depth of field you're going to achieve now the higher the number the more deep de deep depth of field you're going to achieve so small number shallow big number deep deep depth of field is everything is in focus so now i'm trying to attempt to autofocus but it's quite difficult so i'm going to switch it to manual focus you should be using manual focus as well. And now I'm going to press um, the magnifying button. So I'm going to zoom in onto my subject and now I'm going to manually focus using the front ring on the lens. So the back ring is for zoom, the front ring is for focusing. So you zoom in as close as you can to your subject and then you steadily get it in focus. And then you press the magnifying button twice to go back to the beginning. So once you know that's locked in, that's going to be really, really sharp. So ensuring that your shutter speed remains at 50, now you can turn the main dial and adjust the aperture until you're happy uh, that your image is correctly exposed. If I keep pressing display, it brings up this histogram. Now you can see the shadows, midtones, and highlights. You're going to scroll the wheel until your image is evenly exposed and so not too dark and not too light. So there should be information and it should create like this mountain like effect for you to have a correctly exposed image. Press the button when you are happy to record and you'll, it will be indicated by a red dot on the screen. When you're finished recording, press the button again and it will stop. 